I don't know. I, I totally, totally disagree with you. I think we need to have just a total section, just like you're taking a test and whatever you, whatever you get to get. And if you did a subsection, who's to say that? Okay, let's do ten points for the five subsections. Who's to say that that's not too subjective? At some level. The question becomes, can it be objectively defended and publicly described as a reasonable variation or result between different applicants? And the question of whether or not different applicants are able to be scored in a consistent method and able to have their applications pulled out two years later and have someone look at them fresh and come up with a similar result is the goal of merit scoring. So, how many other states uh, do subsection scoring? I don't have the exact number for how many have that procurement style broken down for. Okay, and then my next question, once you find that out, how many um, states have been sued for the subsection score? There's those two things I'd like to know. If we were to choose, if, if we, I guess if we were to do subsection scoring, if you look at I guess I chose the other one, it was the low, it's 10%. I guess we look at a 100% scale, it's 10 points. You have um, nine items here. Would all these equally be given a point? And not, then, we, not necessarily. We just, In looking at Schedule 1, for example, questions of experience with regulated industries could also include experience with cultivation and production of medical marijuana in particular as a regulated industry. A second subpart could involve questions of experience with secure inventory tracking or businesses that require that 24-hour security. How those are identified is your control bless you, is your control and your ability to signal to the applicants where those merit points will come from. What is important? Did the, uh, does the Illinois rubric have any subsections? structure of, of your application here, your merit application, is the same structure as Illinois. Yeah. And it basically has little point breakdowns, typically, at the top of each section. That's, I mean, th these have always been built in based on the fact that that's the way Illinois structures theirs. I don't know what the exact breakdown is, but they do have more, have more have points by section. It just comes down to how, how far we're going to divide this. You know, if, if, are we going to just, you know, we could you could leave it at Schedule 1 is 10%, Schedule 2 is 50%, and you could just leave it at that, and then you take Section 1, you give them, if it's out of 100, you say, well, you got 8 out of 10 points, you got 10 out of 10 points, I felt like you did everything. And, um, and the next one you say 50. Because I, I just, I'm more apt to not breaking it down into so many pieces because it'll limit, um, again, it'll limit, it'll limit my ability to advocate more for public safety. Not really, because I, I don't want that to have a, you know, I don't want someone to come in and say, well, you know, they they were able to grow enough marijuana for the state. Well, I know, they, they can make enough cigarettes and make enough pills, but what are we doing about the problems that it can cause? And that's more important to me. Um, from my perspective as a physician, then, you know, I'd rather say we ran out of marijuana, we didn't have enough, versus, you know, we've, we've been a boom in high school kids smoking marijuana since Arkansas made medical marijuana. But I guess the and question I, is, is that because of that being your opinion, is that too subjective of a point? Because it, and it might be. It may be, and so maybe you're weighting that too heavy versus the whole application. I think that's what you're trying to say, right? Because Although it's important, if you give all the points to that, then you didn't take into account the other. But, but subsection we, scoring will avoid that. I guess 